Okay, everybody, we're on the On the Rocks Ranch. Now, just over the hill, the A-frame treehouse was spotted. It's not gonna run away or anything, but I just wanna bring you into this moment. We're gonna crest the hill and we're gonna see it there. You ready for this? Come on. Yeah, it's there. It's there. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy. There she is, double A-frame. And you can see the obvious A-frames, but up in the second level, we popped the roof out on a different angle so that we could capture that space, create a few bedrooms. I'll take you through. This is so exciting. I have not seen it completely furnished. So let's go have a look. Come on, let's win. It's always, you know, the planning that I do and I love thinking about what the materials are gonna be. All of this siding on the outside came from the Skagit Valley, north of Seattle. Patrick, my son-in-law, scavenged it from a barn. And I was always like, how, how is that? I mean, we've gotta get that stuff up to Montana fast because it was just last summer. Well, here it is, he succeeded. Right down to the battens, you see those battens were also salvaged. The long skinny pieces that cover the boards and they're in good shape. It's amazing. Usually you'd break those when you're trying to pull them off a building. But no, it looks so good. Okay, come on, here we go. Western red cedar, love using this on the outsides along with the barn wood. This door, oh my gosh. So redwood from California. These were water tanks up on the hillsides of California. These lines are all the straps that would hold those water tanks together. If you can visualize that, you know, they're always about, well, this far apart, all, all over these big, beautiful redwood tanks that we're salvaging now. So redwood, and you'll see on the other side, ah, uh, the redwood part. So now we're gonna go in. Let's do this. Oh, got it. Ooh, oh yes. Welcoming, um, well, bathroom. Let's go look in here first. We'll take you through the whole thing. Look at this beautiful bathroom. Wow. Pebble base, nice tile. So fun to see this all here. Concrete countertops, oak floor, live edge benches. Oh, wow, it feels so good. I like the contrast with the dark for all the, the framing of these A-frames. Big four by tens and twelves. Here, I'm gonna close this door and then you can see maybe that redwood if it's not too dark. Beautiful redwood. Ian and Griff in the shop made this door for us. And oh, I love, look at that. Wow, wow. Okay, forgive me, I'm excited. Here we go. We have, look, a little peekaboo view for one of the tamarack trees right here. Like that. Sit down, take your shoes off. There's a loft above us, and we'll go up there in a moment. But first, let's. Let's have a look at the kitchen. Look at this cute little kitchen. We've got a nice little farm sink, dishwasher. How about this? Incredible. Here's a nice touch. Look at the tile backsplash. That wood motif. Isn't that pretty? In keeping with the woodsiness of it all. Cute little stove. You could fit a small turkey in there if you needed to. Golly, this is so fun for me. The living room with this nice airy space. Look, structurally, we've got these cables that are literally holding this together. So they're not small and decorative too with their copper grommets. Let's go outside, look at this place. Oh my, this is the view of views out here too. You know, I scouted this in a November when it was clear as could be, and you'd see those big mountains just down in the lowest part out there. It's the Glacier National Park out there. This deck, I remember we were talking about how can we make this deck bigger, and we did extend it about 10 feet so that the family could be out here all together, hanging out in space. I'm kind of blown away by this. I love it, I love it. We're on the edge of a, a cliff, really. And, you know, I'm looking down, I, I'm guessing 400 feet, I don't know. 
maybe 500 feet down to the valley floor. It was amazing. When we came out here that one November to, to scout, it was actually, it was snowing the day we were here. We thought, could this be the place? I mean, it's really remote. It's hard to get here. But if we could pull it off, what a location. Look at this beautiful tree. Tamarack. These are the ones that turn bright yellow gold in the fall. And then their needles fall. Beautiful big trees. Look at this guy. Okay, so we had to support this tree house with posts as well. But there are a few trees that are playing a key role here. You can see that's the backup cable. Okay, let's keep going. This is so fun for me. Okay, first, let me just try this. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Little fire pit down there. How about this for a place to come and retreat to, right? Why don't we go upstairs? There's a loft space above the kitchen and the entry. So let's do that. Neato, man. Wow. Oh, I love this space. It just feels so good. Oh, two full-size beds. Great windows looking out. This is where we kick that roof up so that, you know, we made a whole lot more room here in what is otherwise a pretty tight spot for an A-frame. Yeah, it feels good. It feels really good. And then you can look out from up here, too. So fun. All right, now this is just one of the A-frames because we've got two. The way they, that it works is we've got these two A-frames that are just kind of set apart from each other and then in between the dining area. So we've just hit the first one. Let's go and see what the second one looks like. Look at this. So all of this paneling is hemlock, which we have quite a bit of at the shop or the mill, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'm admiring it because, you know, we use a lot of dug fir, which is a great material to put on walls. And I like how it patinas over the years. This, on the other hand, is a little lighter. And I like the lightness, particularly when it's against the, the dark that they've stained all the, the framing members with. I think it's a great look. Very, very cool. Okay, a couple steps here down into the second A-frame. Go upstairs. I'll show you what's happening up above. Okay, sweet little utility closet here and then bedroom two more full-size beds I love these frames old-fashioned every room has a little mini split you know the air conditioning and the heating so very comfortable a little yoga room how about this huh <laughs> I just love it I really this is just so fun you can do your thing in here I mean exercise meditate Little yoga, such important things. Window opens up so you can get some good fresh air. Love these light fixtures, the whole thing. Here's one of the mini splits too that, you know, everybody's doing it. What a great little thing. We haven't had those around this country for that long, but, but they work so well. Finally catching on. Okay, now downstairs we have the master bedroom and the master bath. Wait, you see this? Let's start with the bathroom, the master bath. This is something. Well, well, well. We have a nice little shower. Treehouse scale. Potty room. Double sink over here with our poured concrete countertop. How about that? Isn't that something? And then, whoa, we've got ourselves a nice bathtub. Would you look at that? And the best part, I think, is what you see out here. I mean, the view. You're hanging out in your luxurious tub. Bears, maybe. Cougars. Deer, certainly. Maybe elk, I don't know. But we're in Montana. Okay, so now we'll go to the master bedroom. You ready for this? Here we go. There is a little exit this way. We could always come back to that if you like but in fact let's poke our heads out real quick the back door okay so in the master bedroom we come there's little closets 
There's a nice little bureau. <laughs> King size bed. Same beautiful view. Tamaracks right out front. They've got this great little Juliet deck. Isn't this sweet? This is just a little one person deck. Maybe two if you hold them close. Let's go sit on a deck just for fun. Look at this place. Oh. I'm so proud of everybody. I mean, so Henry led this job. My son, Charlie, Adam was here, Amos was here, Max, Dylan was here, JP was here in the early days, Daniel, lead architect, Liz and Jamie helping him out, uh, Daryl did a whole bunch of wrangling of people to get this to happen. It was a challenge. I mean, a real challenge. And we ran into the deepest of winter. <laughs> it was tough. Seeing it here complete really fills me with joy, pride. I think it's really quite something. And of course the client was fabulous. They had this dream and it's our job to kind of take that dream and turn it into reality. And to me, this is really uh, a special, special dream that we were able to pull off. So thank you, all of you. And thank you for coming along on the tour. Really a joy for me to share it with you and see it myself on this beautiful day in Montana. Thanks.